Good morning. Uh, so today, um, going on with Snippet Pixie next development. Um, last night uh, on my laptop, I added some make files um, because I was getting annoyed with uh, making mistakes because I was typing in the wrong commands and so on. And it's usually quicker and easier using make files anyway. Um, so I need to go get them. Um, and make sure there's no clashes with go some files because I noticed that I hadn't checked one in, I think. So I need to do that. I'll probably make this a quick session today. Um, my back's playing up a bit, so. Uh, right, so let's just see. Do we have any unversioned? So we did all that. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's what I expected. I'm just going to delete that before I do the uh, download. Fetch and a pool. That's the one I want. There we go. Okay, so my changes add make files. Yeah, I've got to go some for service corner. Okay, so now I need to just make sure that all works. Um, so what did I do? Um, let's close these off. So in each command um, and package, and I have a make file, and they look something like this. So for the CLI, my, that's my target. I called it object for some reason, uh, but I probably should have called it target or something. Um, and then I've got two different variables. I've got uh, the go source, um, which is going to be the current directory. So dbus.co, main.co, kind of includes tests as well, but that's purely for, it's, it's really just for making sure that something gets rebuilt when things change. Um, and then um, the all the packages, basically all the package go files as well. If they change, I want to make sure that I'm rebuilding the object. So they're passed in um, here. Uh, and that's also for the mod, go mod. If the mod files change, that means that sort of uh, the external dependencies have changed. Um, I've done something, I've added one or whatever, um, maybe updated versions. Um, so I want to rebuild for that as well. Um, and so we've got an all target, which just says, okay, go build the, the main snippet pixie binary. Um, We've got obviously a test to run the tests, and then I've done test verbose as well. So I can get the full output. And then the clean is quite simple. It's just removing the binary, which is up here, the object, um, and clean or at the moment um, just does clean. That's in there just because I expect to maybe do some sort of uh, cleaning of extra caches and things like that at some point, but uh, we'll come to that at some point. Um, and then um, when I was mucking about with the make files and whatever, uh, I wanted to clean up the uh, the go mod files and make sure the summaries were built properly and stuff. Um, so um, I've got a go tidy, uh, so I make tidy target as well, which just does a go get and then a go mod tidy, just to make sure that the go uh, mod file is up to date and correct. Um, and I basically got the same on the daemon, um, except for this time I've also got a quick run, just so I can do make run, um, so I don't have to keep remembering that it's snippet pixie d and all that kind of stuff, but otherwise it's the same. 
And then in the packages, it's really simple. Um, they're basically almost empty. They just have the tests, really. They're the only things that actually do anything. Clean does nothing. Uh, tidy, I suppose, does something as well. Um, so we have the same for Snippet Picket. Uh, snippet pixie package as well um, and then I've got a top level make file uh, which basically just calls everything in the sub dyers so we've got package and commands of the sub directories um, and I build the actual target dyers actually you know CLI, daemon, service corner, snippet uh, with a little for each um, so it looks at the subdirectories, and for each directory in there, um, it does a wildcard, um, and that's obviously the wildcard there is going to pick up things like um, CLI and Daemon. So that creates the target directories, and then um, to actually do any anything in there. Um, I've got to make targets. So that takes those target directories, so command CLI for one, and again, uses the die as a variable, and then passes that as a make target. So we're doing make um, minus C, which means obviously in whatever's in this directory, um, and then uh, the target um, for the command. Um, and it's analyzed on the fly it's not like done at uh, initialization of the make file so it's going to be passed every single time um, so that means that for test for start for example when I do that variable it's going to go through it's going to find command CLI it's going to do make uh, command CLI and then the target is test so it's going to pass in test so it's basically make test um, and then I've got the same here for for both clean they're all just doing the same thing um, but for the actual targets themselves um so command cli daemon whatever um i just do a plain just just make that directory um and in other in all those make files we just have a top level all which either does something or nothing so that's it that's all they are um so let's see if they work on this machine. Let's kill off the daemon there. Um, all right, let's make this bigger because that's quite small, isn't it? There you go. You can see that now. Okay, so let's um, go back up here. And we'll do make clean. So it's gone in, it's built the commands here. So it's doing service clean, snippet pixie, sorry, snippets clean, CLI clean, and daemon clean. And it's going through and doing them all. It looks pretty cool. Um, so if I actually go back, yeah, all the binaries are just gone. Uh, if I do make, let's do a make tidy. I want to see if that actually causes anything to change. It might. Because this is obviously a different machine to what I've just worked on. I did do something there, look. So we've got some changes there. Let's work. No, no, nothing. That's good. So obviously just a cache thing. You know, just getting cached. That's good. Um, and then I can do make. Um, and so service call has nothing to do, snippet has nothing to do, um, CLI, um, it did, it built snippet pixie binary, and on the daemon it built snippet pixie D. So we should, should see them pop up, there they are. And I can do make test. 
So that should go through and test. So they all tested OK. Uh, we've got service caller, snippet, CLI, and daemon. That's good. Cool. OK. Um, so that's, that's good. It's good to see that working now. So um, one thing that I noticed um, that I just want to quickly fix. Um, I really am going to make this short one because my back's playing up a bit. Um, is now that in the dbus side of things, um, I'm using service caller functions and things inside the dbus daemon. So that service caller doesn't really sound right as a package name. Um, so I, well, I think I might just change it. And I also want to start using the variables from that service caller. So uh, here we go. We've got things like, we've got the constants, base destination, base path. I should really be using them in the daemon as well. So they should be here and here. I think I'm, I should, let me just double check. I should make sure that I am actually doing that in CLI. Yeah, so in CLI, I use base destination here. Um, which, yeah, is that it? Yeah, and then the base path when we connect. Um, so I think I'm going to rename service caller. But to what? Um, maybe just dbus service. It is very specific to dbus operations. If I ever have any other types of communication, maybe uh, a REST or GraphQL. I could then have little packages that are specific to that as well. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll call it service call. I'm going to do a find and replace on the entire thing then. So Let's find, um, so we'll find service caller. And we've got match case on, so we're not picking up the other variation for the actual um, for the service caller there, look. I'm not picking that up, that's good. Um, I'll double check on that later. Um, so service caller, I'm now going to call dbus service. I think that's kind of the go way of doing things. You kind of run words together when it's like a package name and stuff. So what have we got? We've got it here. So that'd be fine. That'd be fine. It's fine. Fine, 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 yep, 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 yep. Hopefully that doesn't cause problems. Yep, and the mods. Um, comment there is fine, and of course the package name itself. Okay, I think they're all good, so I can do a replace all there. Twenty-three. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's going to make things go bang because we haven't changed that. Uh, but before we do that, let's. 
quick change um, capitalized version. So this is going to be slightly different. So yeah, I'll do D bus like that, I think. Uh, so that's okay. New D bus call oh, I will be new say D bus service. D bus service, D bus service, yeah, that's fine, I think. We'll soon find out when we do uh, make test again. Make build. Okay, uh, so now, is there any more iterations than that? Um, I've done all lowercase. Did I have any with beginning? Yeah, okay, I thought so. Might have a private version there. So service caller there. And then there, that's it. That's the two. Okay. Yes, that's not going to like it because that doesn't exist yet. So that's fine. So what we need to do is just rename that. Uh, where's refactor gone? Refactor, rename. Dbus service, Dbus service. Uh, all references, searching comments and strings. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I probably could have just done that anyway. Um, okay, we do that. Let's see what happens now. There we go. Everything's gone green. Okay, I don't think we got it mentioned anywhere else. In the make file, yeah, that was the benefit of um, just doing the top level package and command and then looking at the base. It's just going to pick out the new directories there. So that's going to have um, dbus service the next time it runs. So that's good. That's fine. Um, and there's no binaries in there. Okay. So in theory, I could run all those tests and stuff again. So I could do a make, let's do a make clean, just for fun. Dbus service is now being picked up. Uh, make test, everything's okay. And like, then we get Snippy Pixie and Snippy Pixie D. Well, I guess we probably should make sure it works. Um, so I'm just gonna bump. Ooh. There we go. Put it back so I can see. Uh, right, so. Just want to the daemon. I can do a make run now. There we go. Let's open the database there. I don't know whether that's got anything in it. Let's quickly look. It's empty. That's good. And then I should be able to in the CLI. So command CLI should have a snippet pixie D. There. No, snippet pixie. That was the problem I had before. Should be able to do add. Probably quote it because we're using back tick. Um, snippet pixie. I should use my snippet pixie to make the snippet pixie. 
abbreviation. That seems to have worked. Database should now have a snippet. That's good. Cool. Okay, that's better, I think. I think I think it makes a bit more sense to use dbus service here now. dbus service snippet. Yeah. I think we're good there. Okay. Right, let's commit that and then I'll make that quick small change to the path stuff. Rename uh, service caller. Oh, no, no, no. Nearly made a mistake there, didn't I? That is not the right name. Oh. Okay. Uh, refactor. We'll call that D bus service. Rename test file. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. So that should be okay now. D bus service. Snippet pixie. Snippet to snippet. D bus service snippet. Okay, and I'm going to add that to the dictionary because I don't want to see those green bits. Okay, in fact, snippet pixie should be in my dictionary as well. Don't want to see typos for that when they're not typos. Okay. Okay, I've just uh, renamed this file, so I better do a little run. Um, so we'll do make clean, make test. Actually, should we do a make test verbose? Yeah. Go. Neat. And then just to make. Cool. Right, I'm good for that. Commit time. Right, rename service. Caller, that's good. Who knows that? Service caller. Package to D bus service. Right, and then do this little daemon uh, demon change. So this stuff needs to go. So that's going to be a dbus 
service path. And that is going to be dbus service destination. This is the destination again. And here I can I do formatted? I don't actually know if I want to listen to that. I want to log that anyway. No, I'll do it for the moment. Uh, so if I do, I think I can do something like this. If I change it up in a minute. Uh, ideally, I guess I probably want to change that out to right. So, is there a format one? Dbus service uh, destination Dbus service path What have I got the other way around, said I? Com dot. Yep. Good. Com slash. Uh, just the one there. Maybe I should look for snip it. Fixy slash. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So CLI, nothing to do. Daemon, rebuilt Snippy Pixie D. So in the Daemon, if I run it again, listening on com Snippy Pixie Daemon. Uh, com snippy pixie daemon and still doing the same things there and if I do an add here oh, need to be in the right place I'm going to get a unique constraint because I didn't change it yet Quickly delete that. We need to get the delete uh, command up and running so it makes testing easier. Okay, don't know why I keep closing that. 
sorted. Okay. Uh, maybe delete that while I'm here because I will forget it next time. Good. Okay. So that's enough, I think. We'll just commit that. You uh, use dbus service constant in daemon. Done. Right, that's me. Um, I need to go walk around for a bit. So um, that's good. Uh, so I think next time I will start adding more commands. So I will just get things like um, snippet add. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I was going to do displaying what you get back. Uh, from add, but maybe better to do delete and get first. And then after I've kind of worked out how to format get output, I can then apply that um, to the results of an add. I think, I think that's the way I'm going to do. So I'll do delete so I can very quickly um, remove stuff while I'm testing and then I'm going to do the get so I can start seeing what's in the database um, which is going to move us forward um, so yeah so uh, until next time um, thank you for watching uh, you take care